So I love my MacBook Pro. I've owned two MacBook Pros and an iMac in the past, and every single one of them have been incredible for me. But I don't just love my MacBooks, I also love my PCs, because if you know me, I like to game. My Macs have been very good for certain things and my PCs have been great for other things. For example, I have never had a MacBook or my iMac break. I've never, like, like nothing. I've, I've gotten little dents, I've dropped them, um, I've thrown them onto the couch, um, they've fallen on the floor. I've never had any physical damage with a MacBook. Back in the day with the PC laptops that I've owned, uh, almost every single one of them, the, the plastic casing has like pried open, keys stopped working. I've always had issues with PC laptops. Not saying that there isn't great PC laptops out there, I just personally haven't had the best experiences with those, and MacBooks are great for what I'm doing, video editing, uh, programming, photo editing, all that good stuff. By the way, I apologize if this is out of focus. I don't have autofocus, and I'm shooting on the red. Also, I'm shooting at the highest compression. I wanna see how this looks on YouTube and on the computer. So Macs have the things that they're good at, and PCs have the things that they're good at. Um, like, you, you can't really play games on a Mac, so if you like to, to game and you also like to video edit, maybe a PC is good for you. Over the past couple years, AMD has been releasing a lot of really good computer parts for really good value. So I've been so eager to build another PC. Also, with Clara Gaming and me gaming, it, uh, it makes sense to have two computers. If you can tell, that's not my mouse pad. <laughs> So let's take a look at my current PC build. It's the first PC I've ever built and it needed an upgrade. Hey, welcome to my floor. This guy right here, yeah, it's pretty all right. It's got a GTX 1080, but uh, that's about it. So I thought it was time for an upgrade. So the big problem with this computer is the CPU. Uh, but if I want to upgrade the CPU, I need to upgrade the motherboard. If I'm upgrading the motherboard, I got to upgrade the RAM. I was like, why don't I just build a new computer and keep this one as like a second computer, you know, so, so Claire can play video games. So I've gone ahead and went to Canada Computers. Canada Computers is like the Canadian computer part shop that everyone goes to. Nobody really goes to like Best Buy to buy computer parts. We all go to Canada Computers. That's just, that's just the way it is. Or online, people buy online too. So I've already picked out the parts. Um, my old roommate, Zach, is gonna come over tonight and he's gonna help me set up the computer. He set up many computers before. He's helped me build this one. Um, I've helped him build all our friends' computers. Uh, funny thing is every time we build a PC, it's like all our friends wanna be there. They wanna see it, they wanna, see the, the process, it's, it's a lot of fun. So it's always it's always a good time when we build a PC. So I'm gonna have my friend Zach help show the computer parts that we bought and uh, let's see how this goes. Wanna run through them? Yeah, let's run through them. So we got a great build here, it's so cool. I'm very excited to build this sucker. Um, we don't usually start with the power supply for, you know, like a build, like what we're, gonna, what we're gonna do, but you know, we just got a big chunker, 750 watt, 80 plus gold, reliable, 10 year warranty, bada buoy. The build here is all about this sucker right here, 3900X Ryzen 9. It's a 12 core, 24 thread processor. Like nowadays, everything's good. This is like almost overkill. If you're just playing games, this is great. You want to stream, you just do it. You just turn it on. So like- But it's I, good for video editing, oh, right? Oh yeah, man, all those threads, you're ready to go. Like if you're just doing like regular 1080p, like no problem, 1080p, that'll crush it. 4K, no problem either. Like you're, you're all good. Like. Yeah, it's great. It's a great sucker. Anyway, That's what I like to hear. <laughs> you got your motherboard, PCI 4. I mean, to regular people that might not mean nothing, but now all SSDs connected to the motherboard are just mad quick now. Everything's so quick. So this sucker over here, one terabyte NVMe drive. It's gonna be fast. I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't actually played with PCI 4. Uh, part so this together is gonna be great. You know, we got some fans here. Are you a fan of this? No. I've actually never tried these fans out uh, because uh, we went and the case that Matt bought didn't come with a fan, like not even one. So whatever. Now we got like really nice fans, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped. Oh, look at this boy, 2070 Super. Oh, mama, this thing is big. I can't wait to take this out of the box. I can't <laughs> lie. <laughs> yeah, overclocked out of the box. We're probably gonna overclock, what? yeah, overclock out of the box. We're probably gonna overclock a little more. Why not put a little 200 megahertz on that? Whatever. Look at all this, look at it. It's got metal on the bag, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the RAM with the RGB on it. It's uh. Okay, here, here's where I cheaped out. Cause I was like, I can upgrade my, my RAM later. I'm gonna save 100 bucks, 150 bucks. I know, bucks. real. But I mean, thinking back now, I'm like, 
maybe I should have just done it anyways. Like you could have went 32 gigs, but you know what? It's if thing is like you could have even 64 gigs, but if you're not like using the 64 gigs, you're actually not really getting a lot of. What? I'm trying to keep the cat away from the box. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're only using 16 gigs, like if you're going on task manager or whatever, and you're like looking at like how much RAM you're using and you're using like 12 gigs, there's literally no point of getting 32 gigs. 16 gigs will be fine. If you're just playing games, this is meant. Doing video editing, eh, it could be good to get 32. Depends on what you're doing, but um, yeah, man, I'm ready to open this sucker up. Let's take a look oh, at the case over oh, here. Yeah, the case, man. Beautiful case. So, um, it is the, uh, what is this? Inwin. Inwin. Inwin 101. Inwin 101. Apparently it's like an experimental brand. Let's, uh, let's jump into it. Yeah, let's get in it. All right, we are almost there. Got everything in, had no problems with the uh, CPU Absolutely. that we know of. That we know of. <laughs> now we're just wiring everything into the power supply. Got to put the, the graphics card in there. Graphics card. One more plug, fan. Plug it all in, big, big spots. And then we're gonna turn it on and install Windows and hopefully it works and uh, I mean, should. Like, it's not that hard. So things went all right. There was no problems with the build. Everything was good. Uh, it booted fine. We installed Windows, but as soon as I started doing things, I started getting uh, blue screen of death or just error messages. We did some more diagnosing. We were starting to think that it might have been a RAM issue. So we tried, um, playing around with the RAM, like only using one stick in the motherboard uh, and then using the other stick in the motherboard. But it turned out one of our RAM sticks was no good. So I ordered new RAM on Amazon and within a few days it arrived. So originally I only had 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I decided that instead of returning that RAM, I would send it to Corsair and get the, the warranty on it. And in the end, I'll have 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is totally cool. When we were actually building it, I mentioned in the video that um, the RAM is kind of where I cheaped out. I thought, oh, I'll upgrade it later. Um, but uh, I guess I'm upgrading now. Cool. So now that this thing is up and running, let's take a look. First things first, the gaming test. I think it passed the gaming test, but the real test is the video editing test. So one cool thing about this PC is that Red and Nvidia teamed up to create, I guess, GPU video encoding. Uh, so I can play back full res 5K, 8K, whatever K footage, no problem. Unfortunately, Premiere, as always, is very behind in their technology and does not take advantage of this. Maybe it's time to check out DaVinci Resolve? But nonetheless, with this 3900X AMD CPU, it still handles the 5K footage no problem. So this is a 5K HD composition, and let's just see how uh, this plays out. So this is playing at full resolution, no problems, scrubs, easy, it's like butter, beauty. So all that being said, I think it is time to edit this video on this computer that we just built. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and all the buttons down there. Let me know down in the comments what keeps you on your PC or what keeps you on your Mac. I'm curious if you've had the same experience I have or if it's been completely different for you. Also, by the time I'm recording this, I think I, I'm on like day 20 of, maybe, maybe more than that, of quarantine. So I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, uh, stay inside. Anyways, thanks for watching.